are all NBA teams. I'll get my first team out of the way. It's my one through five in MVP voting. It is Luka Doncic, Nikola Jokic, Shea Gildas Alexander, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Jalen Brunson for my last slot on first team All NBA. Again, that was tight between him and Tatum, but just this last stretch of the season with OG in and out, with no Randall, the performances that Brunson had um, for the Knicks on a nightly basis, just I, I, he deserves to be first team All NBA, in my opinion. Um, so that's how that, that ended up shaking out for me. Yeah, no, I'm not mad at it. I uh, I have Shea, I have Luka, I have Giannis, and I have Jokic. But instead of Brunson, I do have Tatum. Um, Brunson is definitely a guy that was tough leaving it off the first team All NBA because of the season they did have, because of the context, because of the injuries. Um, but I just also just feel like Tatum. Obviously, you know, stats wise, it's not going to be nothing crazy considering you know they have an All Star starting five. It feels like they have an insane starting five in the point where. Anyone on any given night can pop off for 30. Um, but I just feel like being the best player on that type of team, leading that charge, being that guy over there, because there's still no question he is the go-to guy over there. I just feel like he at least deserves um, he at least deserves credit for leading that team for to such a good record. So I chose mm -hmm. to give Tatum that nod. 100% fair. Tatum was the, the first guy I have on my second team. To round out my second team, I have LeBron James. Anthony Davis, Anthony Edwards, and then for my last slot, I went with Kawhi Leonard to round out my second team. Um, so two Lakers, both of them sliding here at the second team. Absurd that LeBron in year – was it year 21 or whatever it is now, mm -hmm. at age 39, is playing like one of the 10 best players in the NBA. Um even all the way through the very last game of the season, we had 13 first half assists yesterday. 14, I he's, think. No, no, you're right. 13. It was 13. He's ridiculous, bro. This the we I ended up finishing uh what did he average wise? He shook out to what 20 was it 25 9 or 25 7 and 9? Let me see. I have to pull it up. 25.7 points. 7.3 rebounds, 8.3 assists. Um, stupid, stupid averages for a 39-year-old NBA player. Ridiculous, um, bro. Yeah, he, he ended up making it onto my, my second team. So yours was, say it again for me. Uh, second team, I have Tatum, LeBron, Anthony Davis, Anthony Edwards, and then Kawhi Leonard. No Kevin Durant? You didn't have one there? Kevin Durant did not make my second team. He I, I he was one of the last people I flip flopped. Okay. From second team to third team. Okay. So I have I have Brunson um instead of Tatum because I have Tatum on the first team. Then mm -hmm. I have also I have Anthony Edwards. I have LeBron. I have Anthony Davis, and then I have KD instead of Kawhi. Um. So why KD over Kawhi? I have KD over Kawhi just because. Katie, obviously, the Suns have been a little eh this year just as a team mm -hmm. overall. But I just feel like Katie as an individual performance has been playing great, especially for his age. Um, I feel like he's been able to step up. And granted, the Suns are not a good not a good overall team, I don't feel like. But at least he tries his best to fill in those weaknesses that they do have, whether it be certain times where, you know, he has to get down there and rebound, certain times where he has to, you know, play some defense, rim protect a little bit. And then obviously when he has the night when he has it going, he's able to, you know, beat Kevin Durant and score. Um, mm -hmm. so again, it hasn't led to the best season, especially considering the expectations they had this year. But also when you factor in the fact that at least beginning of the season, like Bill Bill was out for a little while, Book was out for time from time to time. They haven't always had the big three in there. I feel like KD has been very consistent in that aspect. I believe he played over 70 something games. I can't really remember. Um, but ultimately, to me, I feel like that's the reason why I gave KD that nod, just because mm -hmm. he's at least trying his best to be more of an overall player and help out the team when it needs and the areas that he needs it. No, fair. It's a hundred percent. Like I said, I flip flop back and forth between two. Um, both of them had you know super efficient seasons. Um, KD shot fifty two percent from the field, forty one percent from three. 
Kawhi ended up shooting basically the exact same uh, shooting splits, 52.5% from the field, 41.7% from three. Um, he was 1.5 percentage shorter of being 50, 40, 90 from the free throw line. Um, to me, just his, his ability to, and not to say that Kevin Durant can't do this, like it's his ability to be able to get his shots off in the mid range. It feels like when the Clippers need them the most on top of um, the defensive impact that he's still able to make this late in his career, um, you know, after all of the, the nagging injuries, like Kawhi still has those moments where he'll sit in that chair and just really like hone in on the defensive side of the ball and tap into him being the claw again. Um, and, and credit where credit is due, Kevin Durant, I think, played maybe his best defensive season of his career this year in Phoenix. I think that's going kind of under the radar. Um, but but Kawhi is just a different animal on that side of the ball. And the, the that plus the production on the offensive edge was enough for me to give him the, the slight nod over KD to second team. I hear you. It was definitely a conversation because I definitely tried my best to get Kawhi. I felt like Kawhi could definitely be higher. Um, mm-hmm. like in making the second team, but ultimately it just didn't work out. It was just uh, tough, bro. It's stuff is tough, bro. It's tough because it you're it always is. gonna listen. You're gonna have at least a couple guys where somebody might look at my list and be like, "Bro, how do you have so and so not second team?" Like it's the NBA is too good, man. It's too good. Yeah, and what I love is that we're not every argument that we're making. Neither one of us is like. Well, he's not doing this and he's doing like it's you can build a case for somebody and not feel like you have to tear down somebody else's. It, yeah, it and doesn't that, have it doesn't have to be that way. You don't have right. to discredit someone to talk someone right. else up. And that speaks again to, like you said, just the overwhelming amount of talent that there is right now in the NBA, how well guys are playing. Um, to round out my third team, again, I, I have KD here, I have his teammate Devin Booker. I have Steph Curry. I have Demonis Bonus. And with my last lot, I gave it to Jalen Brown because he just, on any given night, can be that guy for the Celtics. We know he can provide defensively. Um, his, his energy, his scoring punch is so vital to this team, especially in games where Tatum is struggling or they're just – their offense is looking a little sluggish. Like he can on any given night, like some people say, can be the best player on the floor for this Boston team. We already talked about them having 64 wins. Like they have to get two all NBA players. Like not that that should be the end all be all, but like that has to factor into it. Um, and, and obviously he's more well deserving of it, even outside of just his counting stats. Um, 23 points, five and a half rebounds, uh, 3.6 assists, 1.2 steals a game. Um, he just, it, it was tough. It was a tough decision for that very, very last slot. Cause again, I, and the people that I was deciding to, I could make a whole fourth team, all NBA. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, but I ended up going w- with Jalen Brown for that, that last 15th slot. So yeah, I have a I have Kawhi instead of KD. I have those two foot flop. But other than that, it's mm-hmm. the exact same. I have Steph, I have Devin Booker, I have Sabonis, and I also have Jalen Brown. To me, Jalen Brown honestly was a little easier than I like. Originally, I thought I was like ah, like when I was looking through the names, but now I think about it, I'm like, like you said, sixty four wins. Um, his impact in the game. It's the fact that he steps up when needs to. Like he went on a stretch where. Obviously, he's not the one over there, but he went on a little stretch where he was acting like he was the number one over there in Boston. Right. Um, defensively, I feel like he's really stepped up as far as his defense, playing had a really good defensive season. Um, and the thing, same thing, like you said, it's not the end-all, be-all, but like the Celtics should have at least two All-NBA guys, I feel like. yeah. So to me, it definitely was a little bit easier getting him in there. Um, a guy like Sabonis, I definitely wanted to get in. Book definitely deserved it. Um, like you said, Kawhi, I feel like has a case to be the second team over third team as well. So definitely wasn't sliding anywhere past third team. Um, yeah, so other than that, pretty much the same besides like Katie and Kawhi. Yeah, and the the name that I wrestled with for that last slot, Zion was definitely 100% in consideration. Mm-hmm. Uh, De'Aaron Fox is in consideration. Um, Tyrese Maxey was, was even in consideration potentially. I tried. Um, I thought about it. 
But it just, yeah. wasn't, it just wasn't gonna work with Maxi. I want. I actually really wanted to give him a nod, but it just it just wasn't gonna work, bro. Yeah. Um, Halliburton too. His his skid the back half of the season really hurt because it felt. Bro, you just said this around All Star break. It felt like he was a lock to be at least second team. At least, bro. I'm about to say team. Listen, <laughs> at one point, if somebody was like, "Yeah, he could possibly slide to in a, in someone's first team." It was, you know, what I'm saying they had a case, but like I said, the second half of the season was definitely a little, little skittish. But am I crazy for like? And he wasn't gonna make it for like Wimby. Low key was like I, I was another trying name. To... I was getting to it's like he's there. He, <laughs> I was you trying to think. I bro, he was definitely in the bump, like on the cusp. Like he was, right. I was trying my hardest to finesse it. Like I said, right now it's just as great as the rookie season he had. It's just some of these guys are just you know. Uh, uh, just a, a tad better as far as you know their play this year, but I mean, as a rookie, you're not expected to be an all NBA guy as a rookie. But I'll tell you one thing, I would bet if I'm a betting man, I'd bet he'd be on one of these teams next year. Oh, a thousand percent. 